Hello viewers, this is a problem on fluid mechanics uh, from the problem sheet of Jan Kanda. Okay, let's see this problem. A hemispherical container as shown in the figure is placed upside down on a smooth horizontal surface. Through a small hole at the bottom of the container, water is poured in. This is water inside container. Exactly when the container gets full, water starts leaking from between the table and the edge of the container. Find the mass of the container if water has density rho and radius of the hemisphere is r. Uh, that means what happens actually here, water leaks out uh, from the space here between the container and uh, the table, horizontal table. So that does mean that if you draw the container, I mean this uh, hemispherical surface. So the mass of the hemispherical surface, so mg is equal to the net force due to pressure which the liquid applies on the container. So this is the force due to pressure and actually the uh, net force due to this pressure the thrust force is upwards so that is f so actually this f is equal to mg because there is leakage so this normal reaction here equal to zero normal reaction between the base of the container and the um, table is equal to zero okay so now uh, we have to find out this force f that means the force which the liquid applies on the top uh, surface of the container, the hemispherical surface of the container. So at first by looking at this problem you can think of method like that. So let us calculate pressure and then apply and uh, then sum of the forces due to this pressure. So that will be a process which will involve complicated integration see that means you can think of like this suppose the height is equal to say y from here and the pressure i am neglecting atmospheric pressure because actually uh, it acts from uh, the top bottom and all uh, throughout so the effect of the atmospheric pressure has to be neglected so p is equal to y rho g and then uh, divide this inside surface of the hemispherical container into rings and calculate force on each ring and then add up or integrate. But I will not apply that method here. So if you see suppose, suppose there uh, were no container then you would have had liquid. You would have had liquid and inside the liquid we consider this hemispherical part of the liquid itself suppose the thought is like this uh, suppose there were no container okay now let's draw i am drawing this part of the liquid which is inside container and the outside if the container were there uh, were not there then uh, this part would have been filled up with liquid itself so that is within the liquid we consider a hemispherical volume of liquid right free body diagram so uh, we can say from here that this liquid right now uh, in that case i mean in this case of this problem the liquid the liquid which is staying here applies force thrust force on the inner surface of the hemispherical vessel so if the hemispherical vessel were not there if uh, there were water right water in that place of this hemispherical vessel then this hemispherical part of water would have applied that same force on the water on top of that right that means i am talking about water uh, here shading that see this part of the water would have experienced the same force upwards f 
now we can apply Newton's third law from here right so if the water if the water applies the net up thrust F on that yellow part of that I mean this shaded part of water so this part of water would apply the same force downwards on the hemispherical portion so let us draw the this thing is actually that this one so what is its height the height is r so it's actually it's a cylinder and a hemispherical uh, scoop is cut out from that cylinder right so it consists of uh, this part of the liquid right yeah they have painted it uh, uh, blue now i would have painted it like this okay that part so uh, the force applied on this blue shaded part on the hemispherical part of liquid is actually equal to weight of that part of the liquid so you have to calculate weight of this shaded part of the liquid and that is pretty much simple so the weight so that weight is equal to the force right newton's third law so this force is equal to weight of this blue shaded part so that is the uh, let's calculate the volume the volume is see that uh, radius of this portion is r and the height of this also r so pi r square cross section times r cylinder minus from this cylinder you have to subtract the part i mean the volume of the hemisphere volume of the hemisphere rather so 2 third pi r cube times rho g so therefore f is equal to 1 third pi r cube rho g so that is the force that uh, this part of the liquid applies on this hemispherical shell on top of it.